This article is from Australia Day, the 26th of January 2020. If you live outside of Australia, you might never have heard of Neil Erickson. He has his fans and his detractors on the right. The left hate him with a passion because he uses their tactics against them. He likes to put a fly into their ointment. Things like crashing a left-wing council meeting and protesting their protests. The 26th of January is Australia Day, the day Australians celebrate our country. The left, however, has been pushing the lie that it is Invasion Day, a day of mourning for the Aboriginal people. They say that we need to change the date. But anyone with half a brain knows that no day is acceptable to them. This is what they do. They destroy. The very first day of mourning was organised back in 1938 for the 150th anniversary of the First Fleet by the Australian Communist Party. Today, Neil Erickson was on the steps of Flinders Street Station wrapped in an Australian flag. The left-wing protesters were going to pass by that spot, so the police asked him to move on. When he refused, he was arrested. They are allowed to protest us, but we are not allowed to protest them. With Victoria Police always going out of their way to accommodate the left, it's the left who caused the violence, the disruptions and the law breaking, but they are allowed to march any time they want. They're even allowed to protest our National Day without a worry in the world. They attack police, and that's all right as well. When it comes to moving someone along, it's always our side who the police bully into silence. In the description box below is a is some footage of Neil Erickson being arrested. It's just under five minutes long. Uh, And the audio isn't too good, but the footage is. The question is, why is the left allowed to protest, but we're not allowed to protest them?